Welcome back to Vampire. We've just arrived at Pembroke Hospital for the first time, where we are now a resident surgeon. Let's begin our first night shift. I think Dorothy over here is the head nurse or something like that. They're going to show us around. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? <laughs> Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Well, I should be able to test the blood that I need to test for the main quest, either in my office or somewhere in the hospital. I would like to ask a few questions first. <laughs> where is my room? I'm sorry, where was it? And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. I think that's good for now. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Hospital full, please go back home. Due to the influenza, this hospital can no longer take any patients. Yeah, it looks like they've had to start putting patients outside in tents. Super overflowing with patients. We can eavesdrop in this conversation. Oh, they're not talking, they're just smoking. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks. The ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh, I can trade with you. Interesting. Medical checkup, how you looking, 1000 XP, pretty tasty. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm not going to bite them. <laughs> as far as I know, they're perfectly fine. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm fine, Doc. Physically, at least. But I would give everything to be in a better place right now. Alright, there's a lot of buttons on the screen, so I just did F for details, that's this. Uh, e is what I just did, asking if they need anything. Mesmerize. Oh, so I couldn't even mesmerize them if I wanted to, because I have mesmerized level 1, and they have resist level 2. Too good for me. Oh, piece of dialogue locked away behind a hint. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. 
It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. <laughs> a bit What's rough? Happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing here. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. Quest? You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Ah, yes, that is a quest. Find their wallet. Citizen investigations. They're displayed here, categorized by districts. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it, then access your map and locate the area to explore. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Enter the backyard garden. Oh god, where did it go? Oh no. We're never gonna find that quest again. Okay, I found it. It's the last one on the right here. Yeah, this menu up here confuses me because the icons don't really mean much to me. Like a picture of some people's heads, a picture of a head from the side, a Y. What are these? Apparently that's the main quest, that's citizens, this is local investigations, this would be my selection of the district, I've only unlocked, well, two at the moment, none for here. The docks, one for Pembroke Hospital, am I tracking it? Yes, that's untrack track. Okay. Oh, need hints for all the personal questions. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Actually, I need your blood, but sure. I've got forty-one shillings. Don't think I have a reason to buy anything in particular at the moment. Also, forty-one shillings is not very much. That'll buy just about one tiny common handle part. Look at the shotgun though. Milton's shotgun, 296 damage. That's a lot. A double barreled shotgun possessed by Milton Hooks, probably obtained as payment from a soldier. Let's sell a couple things though. I've got this watch. Oh, that's strange. The icon stays there. Just with a zero next to it. And bottle of alcohol. Oh, there's another person right next to him. There was, when we started the conversation. Wait. Does that mean that time passes while you're conversing with people? Because the person next to them just left. But it must be you. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Okay, I'm super surprised about something. I feel like in most games, all these characters that I've encountered so far would just be kind of side NPCs that didn't really matter. Like, sometimes they wouldn't even have a name, or even if they did, you couldn't really talk with them. They would just say some generic little line and that would be it. But so far, everybody that I found, I try to talk to them and I can have a full conversation and they're like a full person with details for them. Uh, yeah, like they have their own menu with their own blood quality and their own hints and I could do a medical checkup for them and like, wow, I wonder if it's going to keep being like this. I did hear, by the way, about this game that the hospital area has a million people to talk to. And if I just talked to everybody before I did anything else, I've heard it could possibly take like hours, literally, literally hours. Um, given that each episode's about a half hour, I think I probably shouldn't do that. That would be too much, even for me. So I'll try to just talk to maybe some key people. We'll see how it goes. Do you require medical assistance, nurse? Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. That's all locked. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. 
These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. New hint, Dr. Corcoran Tippetts. Should I, <laughs> should I yell at them to tell me who's the lazy colleague? Uh, I wouldn't normally say this, but I'm just kind of curious what happens. I'm just feeling out, you know, how people respond to, to Jonathan. So let's try it. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Okay, so I got a hint, but I can't use it in conversation yet. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Oh, did I just get XP? Is that from unlocking a hint? Let's head inside. Hold on, what's that say? Not you, the, the poster. I thought I saw it... Flashing? I can't tell if that's flashing or if it's just a weird reflection. It's safer here than anywhere else in the East End. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. I wish I could. Nurses are needed now. The name of mercy they depend on you. Inquire at the nearest appointment office, the Ministry of Labor and National Service, or write to 15 Kingsway, London. Um, yeah, before I speak with anyone else, let's head to my office. Let's see what's available to me there. It's on the second floor, they said, and my name on the door. So somewhere on this level. Swansea's place. Can I... <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Are they, like, yelling that from the toilet? Take that bone saw as a weapon? Hacksaw? Oh my god. T. Elwood's medical file. Thomas Elwood, male, age 28, followed by Dr. Tippett's convalescence. September 16th, they were admitted. Um, patient's face has been heavily burnt and disfigured by a bomb during the war. Even with the use of the strongest sedatives, he affirms to regularly endure severe pain from the wounds, as if the flames are still burning under the skin, he says. Examinations of the uh, cicatrized tissues show no trace of inflammation, infection, or swelling. Scars are clean. Could it be a case of persisting nerve damage? The patient never ceases to blame himself for his disfiguration. Could it be a case of guilt of the survivor? Phantom pain manifesting as a punishment for not dying with his comrades? Ah, new hint for that person. Is 
So this hospital is obviously extremely short staffed and running out of room and totally overloaded and I'm stealing small bottles and stuff from the drawers. It seems kind of like a dickish thing to do. Tippet Strickland Necroid. This must be my place? Yes, Jonathan Reed. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. <laughs> it's a pretty nice place. Pretty roomy. Lots of room to do research. Full, like, surgical suite and everything. Tariff of coffee or something. Spooky scary skeleton by the bed. So this counts as a full safe house. There's a workbench and a bed. The flower's dying. It needs water. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely a don't not entertainment in joke. That's like it's like the same thing that you have in Life is Strange. You have a flower that you need to water all the time, and you can overwater it. And if you do that, it dies. If you underwater it, it dies. You gotta water it just the right amount. <laughs> That's funny. Article on Ekans. It is a rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last 10 years while interviewing a few vampires, or Ekin as they prefer to call themselves. Supernatural speed. A vampire can act and move like a mortal in all his actions, but the trained eye will spot that they have the keenest senses and can react quicker than any mortal. On a few occasions, alarm, surprise, necessity to flee, I've seen a vampire move so quickly it is almost as if he had vanished just to reappear somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they act so quickly, but it is not a teleport or dematerialization, it is only a supernatural speed. For me it is a cat-like attribute which allows them to run, dodge, or jump longer and faster than us. I also notice that such speed seems to exhaust them and that they are bound to physical limitations. Mesmerism. One of the most powerful abilities a vampire can deploy is the capacity to force a mortal to obey them. I call this trait mesmerism, but it has nothing to do with the mortal ability to alter a subject's mental state. A vampire can bend a mortal to their will, and they can even break a mind. A vampire I interviewed even told me the more a subject tries to resist, the more permanent the damage will be, as if the vampire could literally fracture their target's psyche. The same vampire explained to me that this ability required time to master and that the result could vary widely from one subject to another. Implant a false memory, erase a painful one, the possibilities are endless. And frightening. Blood awareness. This may be the most catastrophic ability of all concerning vampires since it is the cause of so many tragedies for them and us. Vampires crave for blood. They must use their will to re restrain themselves from frenziedly drinking every drop of blood they can see. They need blood to function, and to express their full supernatural traits. A famished vampire can be very weak, even if he cannot die of hunger or thirst. This urge, this need for blood, may explain why a vampire is so aroused by it. A vampire confessed to me that blood could sometimes blind him, since its smell and attractiveness can be so strong. When he focuses, a vampire can almost see blood all around them, inside warm bodies, through walls, on a supposedly clean weapon, etc. The same vampire even told me that he can see if a mortal has clean blood or is ill, and that in some cases he can even sense diseases, infected clothes, or even items in a room. If this is true, it could have so many medical applications it almost beggars belief. Well, how perfect. I happen to be a doctor. Also, talking about mesmerization and how it could be used to possibly erase a painful memory made me think of the hint we just got for that person who had been in the war and was disfigured and... Just made me think if perhaps, oh, made me think it perhaps if that person, uh, perhaps that person could have some of their memories erased, and that could actually be part of their cure to help them. 
as well as other people, I'm sure. The flower's dying. It needs water. I bet I can't actually water it. Dr. Swansea's message. Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere decoration, but Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal after all. I also give orders to let you rest, and for the staff to never enter your room. You'll be able to sleep all day without being disturbed, and work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice there's an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I've studied enough of your species to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times we're all presently facing. Hope our future uh, collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. P.S. left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I have discovered about Ekin in the last few years. Feel free to read about it. Okay, I already read it. Oh, uh, looking at the quest on the right side of the screen, looks like I have to analyze the blood at the workbench. First, you need to analyze the components you've found to unlock new recipes. Click on the two analyze components. Ah, there it is. Light Regeneration Serum. Regenerate 300 health points instantly, then 150 health points over 15 seconds. That sounds really good. Uh, I need a glass vial, watery, sturdy blood sample. Already got the one. Ferrous tartrate and sodium hypochlorite solution. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. <laughs> Why did the audio files just suddenly stop? I didn't do anything, it just stopped. Let's get a couple more small upgrades. Let's go ahead and increase our endurance by 15%. Weird squishy blood noises. Nice. And let's increase our blood capacity. I don't know. 5% isn't much. 5% heal plus 100% damage for the bite. Eh. Well, let's do the blood capacity. I don't think plus 5% is particularly good immediately, but I mean, just look at how long this line goes. It's 5% each time, but by the time you get to, you know, 20, 40, 50, like, that's actually a lot. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Was that actually an official quest? Night shift, answer the door. Did somebody knock? Didn't hear anybody knock? Huh. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... They have such a strange scowl on their face. Like they're... angry or disgusted or something. Um. Oh, do I let them in or not? Hmm. What type of hospital are you running? 
No antiseptics. Oh, God, no. You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned moor behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. I didn't think selecting that option would be such a dickish response. They're obviously extremely short-staffed in dealing with a lot and just being all like, What a terrible hospital! You're running out of supplies? Unacceptable! Okay, um, so I can access the balcony from here, right? Somewhere in my room? I'm guessing that would allow me to get to the morgue. Uh, I mean, it looks like it should be this door. Maybe I just can't do that yet. Okay, I guess we're going a different way. This is behind the hospital, I think. Let's actually take a look at the map. Um, yeah. Sort of? Can't forget my vampire vision. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody... Do I need to do that right now? Ah, uh, I guess it is more pressing, sort of. I guess it's just over here. They're trying to give me a little bit more combat. Um, what weapons do I have equipped? Right, dual wield or this plus the shotgun. Um, let's go back to this. I want to try out the shotgun. Because I haven't used it yet. I haven't used any gun. See if I can do a sneak attack. Ooh, nice. Oh, God. Let's try this. Oh shit! I tried to parry it. There we go. Nom nom nom. Combat seems pretty good so far. I kind of like it. Whoa. Photography and a wallet. Photograph of a smiling and loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. Guess I found your... Well, something from your wallet. Oh, 
Oh, bring back the wallet. Okay, I guess I did find the wallet. God, I love how I can just do this. And all wood-based objects just crumble before me. Okay, to the morgue. Oh, it's a load zone. Yeah, a lot of this game seems to be pretty open. Like, it seems to be at least semi-open world, and I haven't seen a lot of loading screens. I mean, you can go from the streets to the very, very large hospital without any loading screens, so they're definitely doing some streaming of assets. Oh, there's monsters in here. I think I heard them. Fine ferrous tartrate, uh, quinine, quinine, heavy brown set, and sodium hypochlorite. Distant screams. This should show me their presence through walls. Oh, that goes back out to the street, right? That's, uh... I can't really see it, but... Oh, I thought there was a chain on the handlebars, but no, there isn't. But yeah, I think that's the locked door from the front. I can go out there, but I couldn't enter through there. Upstairs it is. I need to find a key to the morgue basement now, but yeah, I just found one of the one of the ingredients I needed. It's locked, all right. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Bunch of ammo on him. You know what? Let's. Oh, he's just got some shotgun shells. Why don't we um, switch out our shotgun for the pistol and see how that is? I'm guessing it's only gonna hurt one enemy at one time. Balls of Mars, fortified. <laughs> <laughs> as popular as they are, ineffective. But. They do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Balls of Mars? It's quite a curse. Rich blood sample. Let's head to the morgue. Or the basement of the morgue, anyway. Whoa. Okay. Interesting.
These scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not out of blood. I'm finding a surprising amount of ammo. I think I should be using my gun more. Definitely not enough for it to be the main weapon that you use to kill enemies, but... Seems like enough they could use it probably at least once every fight. stamina. report uh does does decedent is that a word decedent it is decedent i'd never heard that before of course means the person who died samuel connor 39 fisherman type of death natural probable cause fast progressing pneumonia by virus induced pulmonary consolidation spanish influenza Examined by Corcoran Tippetts. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. They don't? I guess it would have made more sense if I examined the body first. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. I haven't even spoken with Tippets yet. Only thing I'd heard about him is he's kind of old and showing his age, but otherwise seemed good. This says otherwise. We're gonna have a not very fun first conversation. It's locked. Used list and knife. Oh, a tutorial prompt. Uh, blood absorbius acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press right click to directly absorb blood. Huh? Uh, how does that work? Three blood absorption. A long and sharp surgical knife. Oh my god, so what? During combat you like, cut them open and drink from them? Oh, that is, that is disgusting. Alright, well, let's get rid of this. Let's replace it with... You know, I never looked at this bludgeon. So this does 58 damage, this does 65, a little bit more. Um, attack speed. I see that there's a, like, 
green part of the bar indicating a change versus what you have equipped. Oh, that's versus the scythe. That's what I've got equipped. So 15, 10. So this is quite a bit slower and also uses more stamina. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Slightly more damage, but way slower attack. So the DPS over time would be significantly slower or significantly lower. And the hacksaw. 15, 15, a little bit more stamina, slightly more damage. Eh, not worth it. I think the common machete is still better. Okay. Used list knife. Why can't I equip it? How do I get this thing out of here? There we go. I guess I just had... To, I don't know if there's a way to directly unequip it. Like, turn it to nothing, but it works just to change it to a different item. Yeah, I don't see any button to unequip. Odd. Anyway, there it is. So three blood absorption. That's not much. I've got 105 right now. But if you can just use it a bunch of times, really fast, then could be pretty good. Looks like the attack speed is 10 though, which is actually slower than the machete, so it's not going to be super fast. Anyway, we'll try it out. It's locked, all right. to drain some of my blood so I could actually see if I'm gaining it when I do this. Oh no, is that a... Oh, I thought that was a level transition. Aha! Ooh! This is interesting. Oh, dang it. Uh oh. Give me some blood back. Okay, um, hold on, I think we need to switch to a gun. This is not going too well. I don't have any, like, healing potions or anything like that, do I? No, let's go for... I guess the shotgun? Yeah, that does by far the most damage. Oh, I was like one shot away. Damn. Okay. Gun is the way to go. So it sent me back a little bit, like to the beginning of this basement basically. Had to kill maybe three or four enemies to get back here. But it didn't reset everything. My quest progress was the same. I didn't need to re-pick up any of the items. I didn't need to re-examine the body. I just had to get through the enemies. 
so not super punishing. Right, what I've learned for this fight, you use the gun, not that weird blood blade thing. Um, don't bother using the blood spears because they teleport out of the way, so just save all your blood for healing. Just wanted to try it. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. That's actually a pretty challenging fight, surprisingly so. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Looks like that's it. For here, uh, craft the treatment for fatigue. So it looks like I've gotten all the ingredients. Just time to leave. Oh, I can craft it right here. Nice. Oh, I can analyze the rich blood sample. Light blood serum. Regenerate 60 blood points. Ooh. So basically a mana potion and a health potion. Oh, that's the recycle, uh, treatment for fatigue. This is what I'm making, right? Yep. Bring the medicine to Dorothy. An enigmatic formula I just found. What's, what's that? Did that just like add a recipe? Analyze it. Oh. Treatment for cold, treatment for bronchitis, treatment for pneumonia. Nice. Yeah, I don't have the stuff to make any of the other treatments. Don't have the stuff to make anything, actually. Oh, shit. I guess enemies have appeared now that I'm leaving this place. Oh, that missed. Yeah, there's a bunch of new enemies up here. Could probably just ignore them, though. Can't I leave right here? Yeah. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane.